Octopuses are the weirdest animal on Earth. And I know what you're thinking. Is it because they have three hearts or blue blood or that they can regrow their limbs or that they're known to use tools or they can change colors whenever they want? And of course, all that is pretty cool. But it's just the beginning. Turns out octopuses and their close colloid relatives have a unique ability to edit significant amounts of their RNA. And they've been doing this long before modern humans showed up on the scene about 200,000 years ago. While scientists aren't sure how or why it started, studies suggest that octopuses today are editing their RNA to adapt to temperature changes in their environment. RNA is sort of like DNA editing, but in some ways, even better. You can think of it as, as a spell checking. If you have a Word document and you want to change the information, you take one letter and you place it with another. But what makes RNA editing different from DNA editing is the long-term effects. Your DNA, for instance, is identical in each one of your trillions of adult cells. So changing the code in one cell changes it forever and it fundamentally alters your genome, which is passed down to your children and every generation thereafter. And this is how the majority of the animal kingdom evolves. But octopuses do things differently by also editing their RNA. This allows them to try out adaptations in the short term without messing with entire generations to come. In, the, in this um, aspect, RNA mutations or RNA editing uh, events are much less uh, dangerous. You can play with the RNA, you can test many possibilities without damaging the master copy of your genetic information. Unlike DNA, changes to RNA are not hereditary. It also means you can target certain body parts and edit the RNA in them individually. In fact, research groups have discovered that octopuses tend to edit the RNA in their brain tissue more than anywhere else which has led some experts to hypothesize that this is why octopuses are the most intelligent of all invertebrates in the planet. Now, most organisms, including humans, have the enzyme necessary for RNA editing. But the general consensus is it's just not worth the effort. Humans, for example, have around 10 RNA editing sites. But octopuses have tens of thousands. It's really a completely new story. So octopuses and their colioid cousins truly are bizarre. But it may not be the case for too much longer. Scientists have recently proven ways of using CRISPR to edit RNA too. Perhaps they can learn a thing or two from the experts. Mm -hmm.